On today's episode, I'm going to show you two of our newest pedals, the Mini Foot Fuzz version 2 and the Tidewater Tremolo. I'm going to tell you a little bit of the backstory and I'm going to play Boring. them in a way. What is your problem? When are you going to do the Soft Tech episode? First of all, get we off. Want, we want the Soft Tech episode. Get off my back and I'm going to do the Soft Tech episode when I can do it the way I see in my head. It's got to be done right, okay? <sighs> Fine. Roll intro. In early 2009, I developed a brand new fuzz circuit and I crammed it into a mini enclosure. And this was the birth of the mini foot fuzz. This is one that I built in December of 2009 and you'll notice it's not purple, it has no icon, and the knobs are definitely not green like the version one that I released soon after. Then we had the mini bomb boost join the family and it was dethroned by the prestige boost. And now we have a couple new things. One of them is a brand new mini foot fuzz version two. I was able to update it with some features that I've wanted to do for a few years. One of those is way more volume, almost twice as much on tap and a gate toggle so you can kill the decay of the fuzz note, making it a super versatile pedal. And then last but not least, the brand new Tidewater Tremolo. This guy is important because when we release the Kodiak Tremolo, it had a ton of features. It does everything you might possibly want in a trim, but it did away with the old Honeycomb Tremolo, which was a little bit more simple. And for people like me, I tend to lean on the simple side, so that's what this does. These mini pedals are amazing, they're easy to use, and it's almost impossible to get a bad sound out of them. I love to start with a good pedal platform amp that's on the edge of breakup, and for me, that's the Sobtech MiG-50. And then I add some Tidewater Tremolo to the signal, and it makes just a normal part stand out and sound really special. Coming up is a chorus part and I want it to be really huge. So I disengage the Tidewater Tremolo and I engage the mini foot in the plus setting. Normally I would turn on an overdrive pedal but not this time. I want it to go way over the top and the mini foot does that. One thing I've always loved doing is adding tremolo back onto the fuzz. It adds a really cool texture and dynamic. One of my favorite advantages of a non-tap tempo tremolo is that you have to reach down and turn that speed knob and try to find the place that the tremolo fits. And in a lot of cases, it's not on tempo, but it feels perfect. With the gate toggle activated and the fuzz control rolled down, I had my amp cranked really loud. And for this, it almost sounded like an old Fender Tweed amp cranked to the point of death. It made the lead part stand out and it made the chords sound awesome in a way that I wasn't expecting.
foot fuzz plays great with almost any pedal you have on your board, but particularly my favorites to pair with it are an old glitchy octave pedal like the Ibanez OT10. I put this in front and it brings out these amazing and crazy characteristics that you would never hear otherwise. And this is vital in a minimum band setting because it's just me and the drums and this really fills the mix up. I'm a big fan of old country western music, blues, and jazz, and in a lot of those songs, the tremolo does something different. It's not really an effect that they add on to the part. It's actually that the tremolo creates the part. Today's record time is brought to you by Credence Clearwater Revival's Cosmos Factory. This is an incredible album, and if you don't know CCR, Credence Clearwater Revival, you need to go check out these records. This has a track called Run Through the Jungle, and it shows a really great example of fuzz and tremolo in one song. On the intro, he's using a fuzz for this really cool effect, and then we jump into the verses and the rest of the song, and you have subtle trim that makes the whole riff and makes it better. So my question for you is, what is your favorite song that features fuzz and trim? I wanna see that the comments and you need to go check this out that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it i have just a few things in closing and one of them is that you need to go down and click the link in the description below and get your pre-order in for the loud is more good limited run vlog t-shirt after december 22nd of 2018 these are no longer available ever like forever, ever, ever, never available. So don't miss out. I really want to see you guys get the shirt. Uh, secondly would be, what is your favorite jam that we played? We played a bunch of tunes. Put in those comments which one you like the most and why. And then also put in there how you use fuzz and trim. I'd love to read through those and maybe get some ideas for myself. Other than that, hit like if you like the episode. Subscribe to the channel and there's a bell. Click that and you'll get notifications. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.